Good morning, it's Dr. James. Hey, I hope you're off to a wonderful start today. I'm so blessed to see you. Thank you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. This morning, I woke up and for the first few minutes of my day, I was thinking to myself, gosh, you know what? I wonder if I'm succeeding. I wonder if I'm really making progress with my my personal self-care love affair, with my spiritual development, with my ability to go out and do good things in the world and be a beneficial presence on the planet. Do you ever feel or ever question whether or not you're succeeding at those things? Do you ever feel stuck? Do you ever feel like things are slowing down and you're on a plateau? Well, I'm going to form a support group this morning. So you're ready to join. (laughs) <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to be all somber, but I was so excited to get to this part. So here's the good news, guys. I want you to know that you and I are succeeding. How do I know that we're succeeding? I've got seven things that I know that you and I share in common. And these are beautiful. So if today and any other days, the rest of our hopeful, long, blessed life, you wake up and you go, man, I wonder if I'm getting anywhere. I wonder if I'm making the progress. It's such a part of the human condition. And I, you know what? I'm right there along with you. But here are seven things I know that I thought about this morning. I wrote them down. And I think you and I are going to love these things to reflect upon and know that we are making wonderful progress and we are succeeding. Number one, I know that you and I are not accepting the level of relationship drama we once had in our life. Or we're recognizing it and we're (laughs) we're in the process of saying, you know what? Less relationship drama. That's number one. That's a giant level of success. Number two, our interior decorating is more beautiful. Jeff, this means that we are literally surrounding ourselves with things that are beautiful, kind, generous, compassionate, and our thoughts inside reflect that. We're, we're more apt to enlist and entrust upon our inner coach versus give our permission and our power away to that inner critic. This is such a giant part of succeeding in our life that we know that we become our biology and our beliefs. And the more we're decorating ourselves with positivity and love and kindness and compassion, we are succeeding. Number three, we are experiencing less victimhood because we're complaining less. We don't allow others to put us in that victim role. We don't allow ourselves to talk ourselves into being a victim. We take responsibility for where are the things that we know that we can work on, where we can improve upon, and we own it rather than complain about it. That is a giant success. Number four, we care less about what others think. That's a big one, right? You, you, I, <laughs> oh my goodness, that is something when I was a younger man, oh man, I would put myself in, uh, in purgatory, put myself in the penalty box based on what others were saying about me. And you know, every now and then there's a Facebook troll who says, what the heck are you so happy about? You know, you smile too much, you're too, you're whatever. So you know what, I'm getting, I'm getting over what other people think. I hope you are too. Number five, I believe that we are embracing vitamin V. That is simply allowing ourselves to be really cool and hopefully embracing being vulnerable. Allowing ourselves to be seen, allowing ourselves to be wonderfully beautiful in all of our humanness, having compassion for the areas of our life that need light brought into it, that need love to breathe into those spaces and allowing the world, allowing a friend's family to see those things in us. Vitamin V, my goodness, that is a giant part of success. Number six, we are kind to the person in the mirror. That is simply wake up in the morning and the first thing you see is this beautiful face. And and the first thing you don't say is like, oh my gosh, who's the old person who rented my face? We we see ourselves, we, we acknowledge the fact that we are here in this human experience. We love ourselves, we look into our eyes with those soft eyes that the Buddha said, when I see myself with soft eyes, I see myself with compassion. I see myself with possibility. I see myself open to the beautiful, the beautiful opportunity that we get an opportunity to see ourselves living and giving and showing up as a person who in that mirror is beautiful and we acknowledge him or her. And lastly, we are mastering forgiveness. We're forgiving people who we could sometimes hold ourselves back because we believe that they did us wrong and they may have done us wrong or we may feel like they did things that actually keep us from moving forward. But we, as part of the success movement, we have forgiven them. And even more important, we have forgiven ourselves. We give ourselves permission to move forward based on the idea that this is the the living laboratory, this is the workshop, this is the earth school, and we get a chance to each and every day show up, forgive ourselves for the areas that we know we need work in, and love ourselves into becoming who we came here to be. So with that, how do I know that we're succeeding? 
It's these things right here and probably a whole bunch more. Good for you, good for me, good for us. Much love, many blessings. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.